Okay, because I don't know if anybody else is going to join us tonight. I know that Nick and Cadence are not going to be able to join us this evening. So this might be um, our wonderful group that we have tonight, okay? And and that's just fine. So, um, <laughs> hi, Lincoln. I'm going to start off by asking everybody, they had a good day at school today. I had a yellow day. You had a yellow day, I know. We talked about that. You kind of yelled at me. Well, it wasn't just you. <laughs> it was a lot of you guys. We weren't following directions. Did everybody else have a good day? Yeah. What did you get, Max? What was your what color? color? Uh, purple. Purple? Purple? Yeah, yeah, purple. Those are good days. Those are wonderful days. Good yeah. job, Max. I love yeah. your heart or your cross necklace. I see you holding it up there. That's great. He got that for being good, right? Great. Yes. Hi, Miss Maggie. Hello. It's good to see you. Good deal. I see many mouths. Many mouths is joining us tonight. That's great. Okay. Well, we will go ahead and get started on our lesson. Okay. It's not a very long one, so um, we'll go through it pretty fast. Okay. Um, do I? Do you think I need to put everybody on mute, or can we? Can we be quiet for just a few minutes so we can go through our lesson? What do you think? Think we can handle it? Let's try it, okay? And then if I need to put you guys on mute, I will, okay? We're gonna try it. So, do you guys know what candy corn is? Lincoln says he knows what it is. Max has his hand up. Well, I've got some here. Let me hold it up like this. Do you see it? Daddy. Candy corn. Do you guys like candy corn? Yes. Yes? Lincoln says no. Well, when I was a little kid, when I was um, about your age, I did not like it. I don't know what it was about it, but I didn't like it. And now, it's okay. It's not my favorite candy, but I'll eat it every now. Oh, look, Max has got some at his house. I wish I could just like reach through the screen and hand you guys some so you could try it, but I can't do that. Sorry. Um, you look good. <laughs> What'd you say, Lincoln? It's because you're not God. No, definitely not. Yeah, I am not. Not at all. Okay, so um this is candy corn. Okay, so <laughs> it's got it's got it's a candy that has two names, right? Candy and corn. Well, it might sound kind of healthy because it's got the name corn in it, but um, guess what? It's not healthy, is it? No. Most it's candy. It. Hold on just a second, Lincoln, okay? You can tell me in just a minute. So here's the thing. Um, some things might seem and sound like they're good for us, but they're really not that good for us. Right? I mean, Maggie. yeah, hold on just a second, okay? It tastes good and it looks good. And if we eat a little bit of it, it's, it's okay, right? There's nothing terrible about eating a little bit of candy, but it's still candy, right? It's not really corn, like the vegetables. Not really corn. Right? Real corn is healthy. <laughs> okay, Lincoln, what is it? Candy and corn is a compound word. Two words that come together makes one big word. That's a compound word. That is a compound word. It's called corn doesn't mean it's healthy. That is a compound word. You are absolutely right. So here's the it's good thing. We can trust God to help us make good and wise things oh, yeah, when it. we're not really oh, sure God. what is good for us and what I isn't. Mean, okay? So, there is a holiday we celebrate coming up at the end of this month. Do you guys know what it is? You can tell me. 
who can tell me what what um what's coming oh. up on October thirty first? Halloween. 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 Yeah. Halloween. I can't wait to go trick or treating. Oh. Okay. Are you going trick or treating, Lincoln? Yeah. Oh, you are. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go. I didn't know that. But okay. <laughs> okay. So, Ooh. when you go trick or treating, what is something you usually get? Oh candy. Oh, that's right. Candy. <laughs> lots and lots of candy, right? Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with lots and lots of candy, is there? No, I don't think there's anything wrong with lots and lots of candy. But if you, if you get a huge bag of candy on Halloween and you eat that whole bag of candy in one night, what's going to happen? Oh. You're gonna get sick. You could get, get cavities. You could get what? Cavities. Cavities. You get cavities. You get a big belly ache. You're just gonna feel kind of yucky, and then you might you might just be sad because all your candy's gone, right? Right. It's Maggie. Yes. Yeah. What is it? Like last time I tried a pumpkin candy, it tastes disgusting. I had <laughs> Uh, it out in the trash can and then I have to fuck the feed. Oh gosh, it was like a lie because there was, so, Mommy, there was, because there was so much sugar in my mouth. Mommy. Yes, Lincoln. When you get older, Miss Combs told me when you get older, mm -hmm. uh, you would eat a lot of candy when you're like a teenager or something. When you're a teenager, you can eat more candy? Well, maybe, I guess. You can make that choice for yourself. Maggie. Yes. I know the neighbor. He gets bananas and apples for us for Halloween. Oh, that's nice. Yes, not everybody gives out candy for Halloween. That is a good point. That is a good point. So <laughs> the thing is, um, eating all of that candy at one time might seem like a really <laughs> good idea. And you might think, oh, my goodness, I'm going to eat all this candy up. But it's really not that good of a choice, is it? And there are lots of other things in our life that might look good or sound good. They might seem like they're good ideas, good choices, but mm, maybe not such a great idea, right? So um, that's why we can trust in God and trust in his word, which is the Bible, to help us know if we're making good choices or maybe not good choices. Okay? It's Maggie. So, yes. I got a boo boo. I was bleeding oh, on my pinky. Bleeding on your pinky. Your poor pinky. All right. I'm going to tell you guys our Bible verse for today, and then we're going to have just a quick little game. Okay? And then we can talk about some more Halloween stuff. All right? So um, let me read you our Bible verse real quick. It's Proverbs. Can everybody, can you see that? A little bit? It's really, if I hold it back, there we go. Can you see that? Kind of, sort of. It's Proverbs 3, verse 5 through 6, and it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, oh. and he will make your path straight. I don't know if you guys can see that. I think you can. There's a little car driving down this straight road, and here the sign says, good choices. See, God's going to help us make some good choices. Hi, Carter. Hi. He has a blaze shirt on right now. I see oh. that. I see that. Very cool. Down, sit right. down. down. So, I have got just. It's, God, kind of uh, <laughs> it's kind of like a game, kind of not. Uh, so I'm going to ask you guys. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you an example of something that might. Happen. Maggie, I'm hanging upside down. Oh, my goodness. 
I'm going to give you an example of something that might happen, and I want you to tell me if you think it's a good idea or a bad idea. Okay? Thumbs up. You got it? Okay. So, eating a whole family size bag of Doritos for a snack. That's like the ginormous oh. bag. Good or bad? <laughs> Max thinks it's a good idea. Okay. Maggie. Do you think it's a good idea or a bad idea? A good idea. <laughs> oh, God. John, I think it's right. I love you. God and God in a cross. God, God inside a cross. I'll do that. Okay, so you guys think it's a good idea. What yeah. do you think your tummies are going to think if you do that? Bad. Delicious. <laughs> and it's a yummy. I'm going to say I love bad idea. <laughs> it's a good idea. Okay, Lincoln says a good idea. I'm going to say bad idea. Sorry, Lincoln, you're overruled. <laughs> okay, next one. Are you ready? Are you listening? Yeah. Eating an apple for a snack. Do you think that would be a good idea or a bad idea? Bad, 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 Oh, man. You guys think it's bad? Yeah. What do your tummies think it would be? A good idea or a bad idea? Bad. Bad? I'm going to say good idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Well, Lincoln and I disagree on food choices, in case you guys can't tell. Um, okay, here's another one. This one might be a little tricky. Good idea or bad idea? Lying, telling a lie to get out of trouble. Good idea or bad idea? Bad idea. I think most of us will agree, that's a bad idea. That might get you into some more trouble. You want to lie. Telling the truth is usually the best way to go. Yes, yes. Minnie yes. Mouse. Minnie Mouse. All right. <laughs> okay, here's Minnie another Mouse one. On the wall, please. Um, this is kind of tricky. Okay. Walking away from friends who try to get you to do something dangerous. Good idea or bad idea? Bad, 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 bad. Walking away bad, from bad, friends bad, who bad, are trying bad. to get you to do something That's dangerous. We don't want to get in trouble. Bad, 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 bad. Yeah, I right. actually think it's a good idea that you're going to walk away from them if they're trying to get you to do something dangerous. I know that was kind of a tricky one, right? That was a tricky one. And usually your friends aren't going to try to put you in a dangerous situation. I know. That's a tricky one. Sorry, guys. Okay, last one. Paying someone back for something you broke, even if it was an accident. Good idea or bad idea? Come on, man. Yeah. Paying someone back for something you broke, even if it was an accident. Doesn't pay back. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, at least maybe offer, right? They may say, oh, don't worry about it. But I think, I think it's nice to make an offer, don't you? So, so those are some things to think about. And again, we're not going to always know if we're making oh, an offer to the next place. Oh, it might be kind of hard to know. That's okay. I was blocking that. Don't look at it. That's a lot of cool drawings, guys. That's why we can trust in God and trust in his word because he has the answers and he has a plan for us and his plan for us. Mickey Mouse! He's wearing a bow tie. He's wearing a bow tie. He's wearing a bow tie. What a Mickey handsome Mouse. Mickey Mouse. This is me, Mickey Mouse. What a handsome Mickey Mouse. Okay, so we have got um, Pastor Appreciation Day. Um, coming up, it is on Sunday, October 25th, okay, that is, um, the, and we are going to have, um, I think it's from two to four, I could have my times wrong, Whoa. I'll double check, 
<laughs> but um, people are allowed to drive through the church and wave, or you can make a little card or something for Pastor Steve and Mr. Mark Wainick, um, just to tell them thank you and um, show how much we care about them and love them and appreciate all of the things they do for us at church. And so what I would like to do from our little group is to maybe put together a little craft for them. And so I don't know, and this is maybe more for the grown-ups if you're listening, if um, a Wednesday night would be better for me to do a, um, to come by your house and um, collect a little something from your kiddos. I'm thinking like a fingerprint type thing. If a Wednesday night would be better instead of doing a Zoom or a Saturday. And you can kind of chime in and let me know, or you can send me a text. Uh -huh. um, but I would like to have something um, a little more personal from the kids to give to them, if, um, if that's possible. So you guys let me know about that. We can do that any day. It's fine. Day. Okay. We're here. <laughs> Mommy talking. And um, let's see. And I think for Max, a Wednesday. Tapping the toilet. Right? I am tapping a toilet. Wednesdays are good for us. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good deal. Lincoln, you're just with me all the time. So. <laughs> okay. Good deal. And then um, I don't know. I'm sure you guys have seen the Midweek Connections. If not, we are planning to do um, a sort of trunk or treat. So. <gasps> Oh. So, um, if you haven't looked at the Midweek Connections, be sure to look at that. All right. And I will also be putting together some fun Halloween goodie bags for you guys. And I'll be dropping those off later on in the month. Okay. So, those are just uh, a couple of things. Wow. Put that on the wall. Just a couple of things coming up. Do you guys have any exciting news for me? Miss Maggie, guess yes. what? What? Can we last four teeth? Four teeth? What? I got like three teeth gone. Oh my goodness. Max, how many have you lost? Um, uh, fourteen. Uh, no. Two. Two. Yeah. Which one have you lost? Four. I don't have any teeth lost. None yet. I still got my. I don't have lost zero. Like none. That's okay. Me I don't have three. That's okay. We all lose our teeth at different times. That's awesome. Yes, that's you, got a, me. you got a new place out in your backyard. Yeah. Tell them about that. I have a place. Now I'm pulling her tooth out today. Oh, she pulled it out. Max, you got a new place? I have a place at two. You oh, have a place it. at two. <laughs> Does it have a slide? Yes. Does it have a swing? Two of them. Yes, yes, I got it. We have a spider web swing. Oh my goodness. Yes, that means I can come over and sit on one of those swings and swing. And also a blue slide, a bumpy blue slide. Awesome. John, does everyone go on? I'm going to go to the Venture Park. Oh, the new one? Oh, wow. When are you going? What is that? Um, after this. Tonight? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that <laughs> sounds so fun. I haven't been there yet. Dun, 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 we dun, haven't dun, gone. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, if you will be um, still and quiet, I will go ahead and close in a prayer so that you can go back to spending time with your families, okay? All right, here we go, everybody's still and quiet. 
I made like a lot of pictures and videos. Dear God, we thank you so much for all of the good things that we have. And we ask that you continue to give us the wisdom to make good choices. Thank you for your love that you show us every day. I pray that you continue to keep us safe. Thank you for these children and thank you for their families. Thank you so much for giving us your son. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, guys. Um, I plan to see you back on Zoom next Wednesday, okay? Um, unless I see you in person to, um, to do the pastor appreciation gift, okay? But I will send you guys an email or a text message about it, okay? Have a good rest of the week, everybody. Bye-bye.